Revelation, the closed book open. Hello, welcome back to Midship Ministries, where we are studying this beautiful book of Revelation. And we are on lesson number five. The slain lamb. We have completed the background biblical study and now we're going to see how well we can understand what Revelation says. Let us pray. Loving Father and our God, we are thankful to you for the privilege of studying your words. Now may your Holy Spirit inspire our thoughts and our minds is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So, let's see if we understand Revelation. Who are the only ones that will be allowed into heaven? Crucial question. Revelation 21, verse 27 says, And there shall be no wise enter into it, anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh abomination, or maketh a lie but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. Now, it is so important in order for us to be saved, our names must be written in the Lamb's book of life. Now, notice that this book is not controlled by anybody else. You know, somebody says, uh, Peter, is going to be at the gate. But I tell you, if Peter was at the gate, then even bandits would have made it in. The, Jesus himself has written. It is his book, the Lamb's Book of Life. Who is in charge of this book of life? Revelation 21, verse 27 says it is the Lamb. So don't worry about the book. Be concerned about the Lamb himself. No one will get his name into that book except those who know the Lamb. You must have a relationship with the Lamb. I never knew you. Matthew 7, 23 says, Jesus will someday have to say to some who did wonders in his name. Yes, there are some who will, who will approach and say, Lord, I, I have cast out devils in your name. I have done wonderful things in your name. And Jesus will return, re reply and say, depart from me. I never knew you. So friends, you know, today... Many people pay attention to miracles, but it's not about miracles. It's about a relationship with the Lamb, a relationship with Jesus. The question is, what is your relationship with the Lamb? Is he your Savior? Is he always first in your life? This is the important question for our salvation. Once a name is written in, the, in that book, what could possibly happen to it? Revelation 3 and verse 5 says it can be blotted out. You know, there's a, there's a theory or concept that says once save, always save. That's not biblical, my friend. It, when your name can be written in the book and it can be removed. That's what Revelation says. That's why it is so important that we constantly have a relationship. We must have a daily relationship with Christ, the Lamb of God. What do we have to do if we want our names to remain in that book. Revelation 3 and verse 5 says we must 
overcome. We must overcome every day. We must overcome sin and selfishness and greed and pride and wickedness. We must overcome. We need more than just coming to, 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 the, to the altar. It must be an ongoing experience of victory in Christ. Let him show you. Let him show us what is wrong and then follow the light. Thus we see clearly that while salvation and eternal life are free gifts to man, they are not automatic. Even when our names are written in the book, they will not automatically stay there. Revelation reveals that something we do or don't do will have a definite bearing upon whether our name remains there or not. We must ensure that our names are kept in the Lamb's Book of Life by our relationship with the Lamb. Never take for granted your relationship with the Lamb. Now, what will be the theme of the songs of heaven? Revelation 5, 11 through 13. Worthy is the Lamb. There's a song that says, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain. To the unsaved, it is boring to read and sing about the cross of Calvary. To the saved, it always softens the heart, stirs the emotion, and awakens our love for him. Friends, we must ensure that we daily have a relationship with the Lamb. And so what is our response? I am precious because of the blood of Christ. Today, I acknowledge Jesus as the Lamb of God. I declare today that I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Do you? Finally, we must pray, Lord, I give you my heart. Friends, let us surrender our life to Jesus, the Lamb of God, that taketh away the sins of the world. Let us ensure we maintain a relationship with him. Pray with me, please. Our Heavenly Father, once again, we have spent some moments together in the study of your words. I pray that the Holy Spirit will inspire every heart every person who see and hear this presentation so that all of us will have a relationship with you so that when you come to take your people home, all of us will be ready for translation is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Friends, for greater clarity, Additional information, contact your local Seventh-day Adventist church. God bless you, and we see you next time.